Um, yes, this is now a five minute tarot for the 9th of February 2017. And today, somebody called Chris asked a couple of questions about the Ace of Wands. And so he looked at the picture and he sees these little leaves falling off the side or not there. So he's wondering, do the, the leaves that are that have come off indicate that they're the past and they're to be they are being left behind because it's a card of new beginnings, right? So that there's a certain amount of stuff falling by the wayside in the way that the leaves are falling off. And the second point he asked about was the fact that if you look around the hand here, um, it's kind of illuminated and it's got a white background and it's coming from a cloud. So is this what's the reason for the white the white um, border, so to speak, and because it's, there's a cloud, does it mean that it's coming from above? Okay, so if we look, if we consider first the the, the falling leaves, okay, one is the, the leaves are green. If the leaves had been brown or dried up, then I could see that the falling leaves would represent the past that's being left behind, but the leaves are green as is the rest of the branch, or the, the branch is brown, but the leaves on the branch are green. So it can be, it, it maybe it's telling us that there's activity and there's action, that, that the hand holding the, the, the branch has, shake, has shaken the branch and so some of the leaves have come off. And that can mean that because if, if you actually get a branch and shake it, the leaves will stay on. The, the, the weak leaves or the weak connection, the leaves that are weakly connected will fall off. So this can mean with the Ace of Batons that things are pretty solid, but some things are going to fall away. So depending on the question, if you want to know, um, is, is this a good move for my overall life? The answer is yes, but you're going to find that some things that you're involved with now are going to fall away and you won't be involved with them to the same extent in the future. Right? So you shake, you move it, but some of the weak some of the, the, the joints are weaker and they're going to fall away. And you're going to be left with a much stronger situation. So don't be concerned if certain people are or or activities fall by the wayside because if the if the connection were strong enough they wouldn't fall away um the other thing is that those those leaves can mean that uh, the, the 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 leaves being separate can mean that as you go forward or as you do things the 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 green leaves can represent other people involved in the answer to the question so they may be generally with you, but they've also got their own agenda. So you can't depend on everybody to be on the same page or to be willing and able and desirous of doing what you want them to do, let's say, or following the plan. It's not that they're against you, but they're not going to be 100% for you. So if you remember that you can trust people, but they've also got their own reasons for doing what they do. You're going to be in a much stronger position. Uh, the other part was the white hand, the, the the whiteness around the hand, and it reminded me of medieval paintings where you've got saints or special people, and their heads are illuminated. They've got a can't remember a halo around them, and it's a bit like the the hand, the the whiteness around the hand can be emphasising the white is pure, right, it's clear, clean, so it can be emphasising the purity of the hand holding the baton, and so it can be an indication that your motives ought to be pure. If you're doing something because you want to cheat or rob other people, it's not going to work. If you're doing it for good, morally justifiable reasons, and they're, they're, they're good reasons, and you're not lying to yourself or lying to other people, that's the foundation that you can build on. But if you're trying to double-cross people or trying to pull 
the rug over their no, pull the rug out from under them or pull the wool over their eyes, that's not going to work. You, you need to be to be pure in in your desires if you want this thing to work, if you're represented by the, the ace of buttons. The, I've got this, I found this picture of, of a painting by Rembrandt. Um, and so you've got the light coming in the window. So the 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 light around the ha or the the whiteness around the hands can be light shining on and emphasizing the hand which see, because it's from a cloud it seems to be the hand of god whatever that might mean but it's a bit like with the ace of buttons it's going to work because you're doing you've got invisible power behind you or you've got invisible uh, you've got strengths and power that are maybe not known, or this, they're invisible to some extent at the moment. But if you need a miracle, if you need a break, if you need support from unseen forces, you're going to get it because the hand is illuminated and you've got the light of the sun or you've got the light of something or other shining on the hand that represents the power that's making this whole thing happen. I seem to be getting a little bit carried away here. But um, uh, then at the same time, if the, if the Ace of Patterns were upside down, then that invisible power isn't working with you. It's either not going to be there. So don't expect miracles um, or else um, the invisible powers that you're calling on you can't trust them. So you're better off to be independent and to take action on your own or by yourself rather than look for um, special support from other people because it's not going to be there with the Ace of Patterns reversed. Okay, that I think is it for the moment. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, bye-bye.